All right, guys, we got the Rossi Tuffy Turkey. We got a different choke, different load. We're fixing to put it on paper at 40 yards. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so for the 20th pattern test of today, we have filmed a ton of them. So as always, just gonna put this in the beginning of the video. Uh, if you wanna view all these tests early, as I will be up all night tonight and in tomorrow, doing edits, getting the videos uploaded to the channel. Uh, if you're a member, which the link is down in the description, you will get to see all of these tests on top of the six that are already available early uh, from Wednesday's filming. So 26 videos from this week alone, you'll be able to view now. So that's pretty cool. But what we're gonna do, we have right here, the old kinetic gunworks etched out turkey bird. This is a 20 gauge that we focused. We're focused. Nice. 20 gauge, three inch, ounce and five eighths, eight and nine blend, 1100 feet per second. If you guys have watched the one chip challenge we did, uh, we did a hundred yards pattern test with 20 gauges, uh, the least amount on the shot had to eat the chip, which that backfired. By the way, Hawk will be eating that chip here shortly. But this was the load I used. Uh, eights over nines, they travel really well. They hammer, they're very good. I don't know why everyone likes the eight tens. Well, I do know why in nine tens, but really you cannot sleep on an eight over nine, especially in 20 gauge. This shell right here, these just hammer. We're gonna see if that continues with this test. As I have not shot this choke very much in this gun, this is the Carlson's Longbeard XR 568 choke. Um, actually, I'm not even sure if I've, I've patterned this Rossi Tuffy Turkey with it, but I think the 568 with eights over nines, I think should be a really good hunting pattern at 40 yards, as that is what we're looking for. So. Let's see what we can do. Let's put this in here, get this old, old sound ready to fire. And uh, we'll see what it does at 40 yards to that peacock down there. So here we go. Rossi Tuffy Turkey, Kinetic Gunworks 8 over 9 with the Carlson Longbeard XR 568 choke. I think this is fixing to be an absolute hammer at 40 yards. Let's get right to it. I tell you, this gun is absolutely awesome because it's so light, but keep in mind, it is extremely light, so it kicks like a mule. But, it's a give and take. Let's see what it did. It looks like that was way high. Uh, I'm not zero to this, so. We'll see how it did. We'll go down and scribble some circles and see what it did, as I say, for the 15th time. All right, guys, once again, that was the Rossi Tuffy Turkey 20 gauge with the Carlson's Longbeard XR 568 with Kinetic Gunworks 8 over 9s at 40 yards. And once again, without fail, the 8s over 9s proves to be a ferocious turkey load. Now I just want to say this out real quick here, if you could pan out real quick. Just, just real quick, pan out. You mean it? Pan out. You can see that I snood smacked him. So it's uh, the Smack and Snoods hoodie that will be available for pre-order here shortly, or is already by the time this is dropped. We snood smacked him right there. We got after that snood. The hoodie would be proud. Anyways, you can see as I'm not zeroed to this load, it is high. I mean, even with the core being right here and how tight eights and nines shoot, we still got them. Bunch in the brain, one in the eyeball. Then we have these two random flyers down here. I don't know what their problem is, but you only have like a handful of flyers, maybe four five maybe seven flyers total if you want to include those on the outside those definitely these two are the bad apples there's always a couple that ruin a good time 
But anyways, you can see this 568 with eights over nines and that Rossi Tuffy Turkey. I mean, that absolutely hammered. Just the amount of shot right here. I mean, you do have this little void, that but if, if like zooming in on this, zoom right up in here and just show how much shot is right there. I mean, it is caked with eights over nines and that's, that's gonna absolutely do dirty things to a turkey at 40 yards. I mean, these eights over nines, everyone loves duplexes, everyone loves eights over tens, nines over tens, I get that. You get really good pattern density, you get a little bit more shot count. But eights over nines, I mean, how could you not like this? This has a tight core, gonna hit them extremely hard, and you have a, a, just a perfect uniform pattern with minimal flyers, which with tens, you get a lot more flyers with eight, nine blend. Well, we filmed a couple tests with eights over nines, and it's about the same thing. Uh, Moose did it with a different setup, different choke. It's just, it's a really good blend, especially for 20 gauge. And if you're real mad at them, 12 gauge too, because we've done that and it is filthy. But that right there, if you zero to this, I mean, that's easily a 60 yard setup right there. Easily, just looking at this. And as you come in close where turkey hunting is fun, where it ought to be, you're gonna have a little bit of leeway uh, not as much as like a straight nines, but you're gonna have a little leeway moving in too. <sighs> That'd be a decapitator in close, 100%. But once again, these eights over nines, I mean, they're just, they're, it's just a great duplex load. I'm not a huge fan of duplex loads. We've seen a bunch of them. Uh, it's, I know a lot of people love them. If I was gonna shoot one, it would be at eight over nine. I really like that blend. Especially in 20 gauge. In 28, I do like the 9 over 10s or the 8s over 10s just to get a little extra, you know, pattern density. But man, with a 20 gauge, 8s over 9s hammer. But as always, I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say about this. Let me know if what, well, drop in the comments. Let me know one, what you thought of the pattern. Two, what duplex loads you guys like or if, if you like duplex loads or you'd rather have a straight payload, put it in the comments. While you're doing that, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe as 80% of our viewers are unsubscribed, which they are returning viewers. They just don't subscribe. So please consider subscribing. It helps the channel beat the YouTube algorithm, get our videos out there for as many people as we can get to see them, and hopefully in turn help as many people find their perfect... Wow find their perfect turkey hunting setup. And guys, we don't really push or recommend things on the channel. Uh, I get hundreds of <laughs> messages, everything a day asking what they should shoot. You guys know what I'm gonna say. Check out the channel, find your guns playlist, find what you like and go with that. Because at the end of the day, a turkey hunting setup is personal. If it should fit your hunting application and what you view as a perfect pattern. That's all we want to help you find. It doesn't matter to us what brand of choke, what brand of ammo, what gun. None of that matters as long as you're finding what you like to go kill turkeys. That's what it's about for us. So if you like no BS, honest performance talks, the rest walks testing, as you know we do, definitely subscribe. Also, if you want to view all these tests, like I said in the beginning, we filmed, this is the 20th pattern test today. We've been literally filming all day. Finally, we can go home, eat. I got to do a ton of edits now, but consider becoming a member. Link is down in the description. You'll view all these tests the night of filming or next morning, as most of the times I do not sleep till it's done. Tonight, I'm gonna, I got a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna get after it, but Guys, consider that. It helps us tremendously to, to support and fund the channel to keep doing this stuff for you, whether it be broadhead tests, waterfowl pattern tests, turkey pattern tests, cell cam reviews, outdoor gear, whatever it may be, it helps us to do more for you guys. And at the end of the day, that's all we care about. Guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors.
I think this was a good pattern test to end on. I'm happy with that. 20th pattern test of the day. Regular old work day here. We get after it. So as always, we'll catch you on the next one.